There are key nutrients that you can only get from eating animal foods. They offer far more than just protein and are a rich source of essential nutrients that are largely unavailable in plant-based sources. Ooh, let's see if she names actual essential nutrients or just non-essential nutrients found in animal foods, which you can also get from vegan sources. Let's examine these indispensable compounds. Creatine. Creatine is not essential, but if you want to get it, you can do it pretty much every single gym bro does, which is get it from a supplement. Heme iron, the form your body actually absorbs. Also not essential, but guess what? Iron is in plant foods. She claims that iron from plant foods is only 5% bioavailable, but if you look at the source that she cites for her claims on iron, it says this nowhere. DHA, critical for brain function. Not essential, but if you want DHA, you could just take an algae-based DHA supplement and get it from the same place that fish get it rather than kill and eat fish for it. Carnosine, a potent antioxidant for your muscles. Carnosine is not essential since the body produces it, and after meat eaters were placed on a vegetarian diet for a six month long study, there was no significant decline in muscle carnosine levels. So you don't need to consume meat for carnosine. B12, essential for energy and your nervous system. Or you can take a very cheap supplement or consume fortified foods, which may be even more effective at raising B12 levels than meat. Of course, vitamin D, your body absorbs vitamin D3 way better than plant-based D2, and that's just the start. Vitamin D3 being way better may be an exaggeration. It is true that vitamin D3 is more bioavailable, especially at very high doses, but at lower doses, the difference is more modest. That said, there are vegan sources of vitamin D3 anyway. Choline, CLA, CoQ10, these nutrients fuel your body, protect against disease, and optimize performance. Choline deficiency is very rare, and you can get choline from plant foods like soy, quinoa, beans, and Brussels sprouts. And both CLA and CoQ10 are non-essential, though you can get CoQ10 from plants or both of those nutrients from supplements if you so desired. That said, she claims that these nutrients fuel your body and protect against disease, yet she's promoting the consumption of foods like beef, which can increase your risk of cardiovascular disease and colorectal cancer, while plant-based diets are actually associated with a lower risk.